Once you've created a corridor, you may want to create solids representing the geometry for analysis and visualization, or to use in other applications that may not be able to work directly with the Civil 3D corridor model. This drawing contains a corridor with several baselines and an intersection. Graphically select the corridor. Note that you need to select the corridor cross sections, not the surface. This opens the context sensitive ribbon for corridor 1. On the corridor tools panel, click Extract Corridor Solids. In the Create Solids from Corridor Wizard, confirm desired corridor is selected. In this case, the drawing only contains one corridor, so use Corridor 1. Next, click Add Baseline Regions. Here, you have an option to pick the regions you want to export graphically. You can assign colors and layers to the solids created for each shape used in the corridor. For this lesson, just keep the default values. Click Next. On the Output Options panel of the wizard, you can select the type of objects you are going to create. You can create AutoCAD 3D bodies, 3D solids, or swept 3D solids. Keep the default option of AutoCAD 3D solids, since it is the most common and compatible with most other programs. Finally, you can set the destination to insert the solids into the current drawing or a new drawing. Select the option to add to a new drawing. Then save the new drawing in your dataset directory and name it Corridor Solids. Now that all the settings are complete, click Create Solids. Once the command finishes, you can open the new drawing. After zooming to the extents, you will see that it contains solids extracted from the corridor. When you list one of the objects, you can see that it is a 3D solid. Select a portion of the corridor with a crossing window. Right click and select the object viewer. Here you can rotate and shade the objects to see the depth of the solids.